Hi, this is Robert Malby, Malby's Minute on the Market, broadcasting this evening from the epic Bonaventure Hotel, which was built and finished in 76 and opened in 1977, home of many epic movies, many, many, many uh, TV shows, LA Law, things like that. But what's interesting about the, uh, more interesting about the Bonaventure is its continuous cyclicality, uh, conical circles, interconnected, a labyrinth of avenues rotating around a city within a city, underscoring how cycles repeat themselves. And that's what's going on. We have to think in a new paradigm and invest like it's 1977 all over again. Here are the parallels. We've got rising inflation, higher energy prices, higher unemployment, higher uh, political discord, and a neo-Cold War upon us, most likely. Very similar. So what happened in 77? We had a bear market, a decline of 20%. Today, the NASDAQ did touch at its low, a decline of 20%, now down about 12%. We had interest rates increase dramatically. That's what we're in the midst of right now. We have a president that uh, came in office and ignited inflation with policy errors, uh, just like in the Carter era, inflation up 4%. We have a Fed chairman that is echoing, hearkening back to the 70s and Arthur Byrne. Powell sounds just like him, talking about transitory inflation. All sectors were transitory, according to Burns in the 70s, and that's what we have today. So very, very similar. The only thing I think we're lacking is disco, and uh, some would say thank God for that. Uh, so, But there's a, a famous quote that I think underscores the... Uh, the situation, and it uh, it is from Thomas Monson. The past is behind. Learn from it. The future is ahead. Prepare for it. The present is here. Live it. Ain't that the truth? Let's talk about our uh, market environment and some of the factors here from our MMI, our uh, major market indicators that are negative. The adages. Do not fight the Fed. The Fed has got it in for equity investors. They're hammering investors with two fists, raising rates till infinity, kidding, but forever it seems like they've indicated such. And now announcing that they're going to sell bonds. And the Fed is about 40% of the bond market. So you've got double pressure. Looking at parallels again, uh, to historical averages, we have a market with a P.E. ratio of 22, uh, about 30% above the historical multiple of 16. We have inflation trending extremely high, much like the 70s. This is big pressure on P.E. ratios. Now let's go to our stock of the month. And for that, we have to dig into the research. And the stock of the month is a ticker symbol CPG, and it is a Canadian oil company. It uh, trades about $7.50 a share. We have a $10 plus target, which implies over 50% upside. The company is rich in uh, oil and uh, natural gas, and priced below book value, and we think poised uh, at a very low multiple, since it's had a very low multiple of cash flow of about 2.8 versus uh, the uh, Canadian comps at 3.5, massively undervalued. It will be paying down debt, increasing dividends, and increasing earnings, we think, quite dramatically. That is CPG. So, thank you for joining us. Visit our website at singularresearch.com and Take advantage of our 30-day free trial. Again, I'm Robert Maltby from the epic Bonaventure Hotel.